Hey guys, it's James from Cosmic Algorithm here, and welcome to the first episode of the official Cosmic Algorithm podcast. Um, I've decided to call this episode, Who the Hell is Cosmic Algorithm? Simply because it's more of a FYI sort of video today. Um, fingers crossed, when this is over, you would have learned something new about us, or maybe you knew something already but just forgot it, or you're just interested in what we've been up to, you know? Because we don't really speak about what we've been up to a lot. I mean, I know that we tease new albums and whatever, but we don't really talk about the recording process, for example, so this is the perfect opportunity for us to talk about it. So, yeah, um, it's different to what is usually features on the channel because it's not music, obviously, but it's to do with us and it's to do with the band, it's to do with the music, so I figured why not. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Okay, so question one. This comes from Shattered Heart. Uh, this guy's been on the channel for a little bit now. I think they were at the Incursion reveal and I've forgotten when that was. So it's it's been quite a long time this guy's been following us, and he's asked, what prompted you to start Cosmic Algorithm and why? And that's a decent question, because we've never really said anything about it ever, so... Basically, we were all in the same music course at school, right? So we were all doing the BTEC level music course at school, and we were already playing songs together at the time, like a lot of Muse, um, because I don't know if you guys have figured out yet, but Muse is kind of our biggest inspiration as to making all this stuff happen. But we were all in the same class, and we were already making songs together, like we were messing around with like little riffs that we just made up on the spot, and we wanted to make something out of ourselves, you know, and we wanted to make the two years that we had memorable, so we wanted to sort of form something to call ourselves, and the Cosmic Algorithm was born, and you know, the, the rest is history. Um, and as to why, um, we wanted to prove to ourselves that we could actually do it, you know, like make it onto all these different platforms and make our own music, because I'm gonna be honest, making your own music isn't as easy as it seems. Um, it's really, really fun, but it can be pretty challenging, because obviously what you put out has got to be as good or better than, you know, other competitors in the music industry. And that was the biggest challenge for us. We wanted to make it good enough that people would go back and listen to it again and again and again. And that has fortunately happened. Uh, I think Incursion's coming up to a thousand streams on Spotify, so yeah. It's pretty good stuff. But all in all, I think we just wanted to prove that we could actually make our own material, our own songs, our own album because we knew we could totally do it, it's just the willpower, because I remember at the end of the recording sessions for Incursion, I think it was one of the last ones that we did, uh, the three of us, me, Tom, and Miles, were all getting a bit, you know, worn out, a bit, you know, fed up with it, and we just wanted it out, you know what I mean? So. It wasn't really a question of, oh, can we do it? It's, it was more of a question of, do we have the willpower and the strength to do it? Because, little side note, making an album, it's hell. It's not fun. Uh, well, no, fun's the wrong word. It's... Some of it's enjoyable, but then a lot of it isn't, you know? It, it's a lot of work, but at the end of it, it's really rewarding, so, yeah. Question two comes from Ivory the Third, and they put, Hi, big fan. So, my question is, what is your favorite song written slash recorded by your band? Now, that's a decent question, because 
I actually have a few that I really enjoyed recording and writing, especially. Um, I would have to say for writing, it would be between Destiny and I think Revolution, because me and Tom wrote that together in a studio, and that was really good fun. We, um, it took us like four hours to write because we kept going over it and changing things and playing it back to ourselves and then changing it again and rewriting it. It took forever, but what we got was Revolution and it was so worth it because Revolution is one of our best songs, I think. Um, in terms of recording, um, I would say... Ooh... I ain't like Incursion, the song Incursion, that was really good to record. Um, it was, I think it was one of the easier ones that we did because um, I got the acoustic part of it done in like one or two takes, it was pretty straightforward. But the electric guitar solo, that took a few takes because I was trying to get the speed right with it and whatever to go like over the acoustic guitar. So that, that was a bit tough, like, even trying to figure out how this solo should sound. I mean, what I got in the end was perfect, it suited it really, really well, and it led into Eternity perfectly. But that was a bit tough, but recording-wise, I would say Incursion, because it was really, really easy to do. Um, but my favourite song of all time by my band, I would, I think... I think I'd have to go with Destiny, simply because it's our most well-known song, it's quite literally our best, that the fans like anyway. Um, maybe End of All Things, the song, the title track, End of All Things from the new EP, that's, that's a really good one, I really enjoy that. Um, but yeah, I think I'd have to say Destiny, that, I think that would be my favourite. Um, the band's favourite? I think it's between Destiny and Propaganda, because af I'll tell you a story. After we finished Propaganda, we were like, this is track of the album, this is gonna make it sell, this is gonna push it into the big leagues, because we really thought that we like really cracked down on Propaganda, because we all thought that the riff was incredible. Like, I don't think we have a better riff on that album than Propaganda's main riff. It's just, it's like, 70s rock, I reckon, maybe? Um, we had a guy comment about Propaganda a few weeks ago, and they was like, this sounds like 70s rock to me. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So, in actual fact, I think it would be Propaganda for the whole band, because, I mean, that, that song is fun to play. We did that at a gig a few months ago, and that was really, really good. Um... So yeah, I think my favourite would be Destiny, and I think the band's favourite would be Propaganda. And uh, a, f a fun fact about Incursion, actually, uh, on the album there's a song called Innovation. It's not one of our best, I don't think, um, but it, it's okay, you know. Um, anyway, the recording session for that, I think, is the most fun we had recording Incursion. Um, so what happened was, Tom and Miles finished their drum and their bass for the, for the song, and I was recording my vocals, actually, um, and while singing, they kept looking at me in, like, a really, really bizarre way, and I just couldn't hold in my laughter, I kept bursting out of laughter. I think we had six outtakes of just me dying of laughter, like, halfway through the song, maybe... I think I couldn't get past the second verse because of the way they kept looking at me. And I just, you know, it, it's one of those things that make recording an album a bit more memorable, I think, because instead of remembering all the bad outtakes, you've got a funny memory of recording one of the songs that you made. So I think it makes it all the worthwhile if you've got memories like that. So yeah, just a little fact about Incursion for you. Okay, question three. I think this is a really important question. Uh, this guy asked, 
what is the story behind Incursion and End of All Things? So, I'll split this in two. I'll do Incursion first. So, Incursion is about a, you know, normal protest group that aren't really happy with how the government is treating them and their country. And they are so sick and tired of just letting it happen. So, they go start a revolution and it goes pretty well, you know. Um, they, they deal some damage, they pretty much start a war, because they end up killing people. Um, but in the end, it fails, because Eternity, Take Me With You, the whole meaning behind that song is, we failed, we need to hide, we have to get away, you know? They tried, but it didn't really work out, so... The whole point of Incursion was, don't fight an unwinnable war. I think that's one of the key messages of Incursion. Don't fight an unwinnable war. End of all things, however, is very, very different to what we did on Incursion. It's got nothing to do with war, really, at all. Um, end of all things is about a really nasty breakup. Like, I'm talking seriously bad. Um, so basically what happens is, this person is like, this is the end of all things that I love, you know, my love has just left me, I've got nothing left, and they talk about falling into despair, they can't really do anything without them, um, they go crazy, they literally go crazy because they're not with this person anymore, and I think, end of all things, as an EP, as a whole, it just represents that some people can't live without their other half. And I think that was really, really powerful when writing that EP because I feel like it's more relatable. Instead of, you know, going to war, starting a revolution against your own government, it's it's more down to earth, you know? It's, it's, it's more real, I guess. I mean, in this day and age, a war and revolution isn't that far away from reality, but end of all things, I feel like a lot more people can relate to it, a lot more people can vibe to it, because they know how it feels to lose someone that was that close to them. Um, yeah, I feel, if I had to pick, if I could re-record and maybe do better on, I think, I feel like I'd make end of all things a bit longer. Maybe add some more tracks, make it an album, perhaps, um, and really expand on what this guy was going through. And if I had to change anything from Incursion, I would maybe remove those two skits at the start and the end of the album, make them tracks, like actual songs instead, and try and capture the really war-torn feeling that I got when I listened to Incursion for the first time. So, not whilst we were recording it, because obviously I listened to every single song whilst recording it. Um, I mean, when it came out on March 16th, I sat and listened to it, and I really got a feel for what this protest group was trying to do. And I wish... I wish I expanded on the more we-can't-win-this sort of area of that album. Um, I know I speak on it in reminiscent of better times, um, we can't stop them now, you know, it's like, we're fucked pretty much. Uh, and of course, eternity, um, we gotta run away. And I think Survive as well, that kind of dive deep into that aspect of the album, simply because they were asking the question, can we survive, you know? Under the under the government's rule and whatever they're going through, they they simply just ask the question, can we survive? And I feel like I wish we did more as a band for Incursion because that album's great, don't get me wrong. I really, 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 really love Incursion. It's our debut album, it's my baby, you know what I mean? But I wish we added more tracks to it as well as End of All Things. Um, 
I know that Tom was trying to push me to making it like longer, have more tracks on it, and we have demos from Incursion that we never used. Um, there's this song called Anomaly that I'm actually trying to rewrite right now, and I'll get into that a bit later, but we had this song called Anomaly, and we had this other song called Outbreak Against Authority, that was another one that we just never really got past the drawing board for, so if I was to do anything for Incursion, I'd, I'd add those two, those two songs definitely, and make it a bit more powerful as an album. And the final question that I've got tonight is kind of a two-parter, because my good friend Michael, he's asked, can we get a sneak peek of anything new that you've got going? And Tom, the bassist of the band, he was saying, whatever this project is, will it live up to the expectations of End of All Things? Because I feel the bar was raised with End of All Things, so... I'll answer Michael's question first. It, it depends on what gets made, you know? Um, if I feel it's good enough for, like, a early release, then yeah, sure, I'll release it early. It's like what I did for Revolution, Destiny, Survive, and Incursion, before Incursion released. I might do that again. It, it really just depends on the time, the time frame, really. Um, I've got a few songs that are nearly finished, but I don't... It's tough to say, because I don't know if they'll get, you know, appreciated, because it's not the same as what we've been making before. They are a bit different. I mean, not bad different, um, they're just not really what the fans would be used to. So, if I had anything, I feel like I'd tease it, at least, and maybe give a snippet of, like I did for Fate. Um, but yeah, it, it just depends on what gets made. And then Tom's question was, whatever the project is, will it live up to the expectations of End of All Things? And in answer to that, I really hope so. Whatever, whatever I'm making ends up being, um, I hope it turns into something strong, you know, it, it, you know, it's got a foundation, it's, it's good throughout, like End of All Things was, um, and I'd try and raise the bar again on the next project that I make, it really depends, um, but yeah, I, I hope it does, whatever it ends up being, I hope it does live up to the expectations of End of All Things and Incursion, because when you're in a band, you, you can put one good album out, and then you could go backwards and put something awful out, and you lose your fan base, because they won't go to your shows no more if you're touring with that album that you just released that no one's really fucking with. Um... So, it's a difficult question, but I hope so. And I think that'll about do it for episode one of the Cosmic Algorithm podcast. Um, I hope you guys learned something that you didn't know about Cosmic Algorithm. Because um, for me, going back through it all, it's, you know, it's opened some doors to some good memories that I forgot about, really. Um, and yeah, it's, it's nice to talk about how we began and what we did to, you know, make an album, pretty much. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and if you want to see an episode two, then ask some more questions and I'll get around to answering them. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. <laughs>